Oh, hi. Success. I love Chloe Sevigny. I number one fan. I I love her. I've seen every 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 picture of well no I haven't seen but every picture of her taken is the best ever and 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 she's an amazing actress and and I've seen like seventy five percent of her filmography which is a lot especially including TV which I've seen most of but let me tell you it's brought me to a lot of gems a lot of gems I would not have seen this movie if she was not in it I saw this movie because Chloe was in it. I'm glad I saw it. I enjoyed it. Uh, 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 if, 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 if you haven't seen the film, go see it. Great movie. Great cast. Chloe's in it. Take anything Chloe's involved in. Trust me. Um, and so if, if you... Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I'm going to talk about all kinds of stuff from this movie that's like spoilers. So I'm alerting you right now that I'm going to spoil the movie. Spoiler alert. Okay. So, starting this movie, this is not the kind of movie I would normally see. Cannibalism, gore, I don't like horror, I don't like, you know, I'm not big on all that. So, again, I think I said, I only saw this movie because Chloe Sevigny is in it. Okay. That's literally all I knew. Although I kind of, because I can't help myself and her birthday was last week. How crazy is this? It was her 48th birthday on the 48th movie week. Her movie came out and I'm scheduled overtime 48 hours. Just saying. I love you, Chloe. Anyway, uh, 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 so I saw this movie because she was in it and when it started because normally I wouldn't I'm not big on the horror genre I don't like gore so when the movie started I knew the thing okay so I knew okay so I knew Chloe was in it but I didn't know the context she was in it and then I saw this interview with her last week she was talking about the movie and they were like, well, why did you do the movie? And she said, well, the director. Because I've seen We Are Who We Are on HBO. Because, uh oh, Chloe's in it. Uh -huh. uh, and it was alright. I mainly liked Chloe's stuff the most. But I never saw Call Me By Your Name. But I've recently, in the last couple of years, become a fan of Timothy Chalamet. Who hasn't? Hello? Mr. Paul Atreides. Um... And in this interview, she said, well, I would do anything for the director. I said, I, you know, even if, even if I only had one line. And then she jokingly continued, and then I come to find out when I read the script that I don't have any lines. And I was like, oh, great. I knew she would have a very small role, but I didn't think she was going to have no lines. And then she went on to say, I guess except for the voiceover for the letter. And then that's, I'm a smart guy. I'm a smart guy, especially when it comes to movies and how formulaic they are. So I knew if Chloe was doing a voiceover for a letter, the only reason for there to need that to be such significance would be more than likely if it was a main character's mother. So I assume that she was playing the mother of the young lady from the film. Spoiler alert. I was right. However, okay, I did not know for a fact to what extent, when, where, how Chloe's involvement in this film would be. So I started the movie and I knew from the one trailer that she was gonna bite off the girl's finger, and that's something I don't like. Ugh, ah, ugh. and the sound design in this movie? Cause me no likey. So that's the beginning of the film, and I've never felt in my life this, this, this feeling I had at this point, when we're at the party, cause I knew this was coming. While watching a movie of this anxiety of like being on a roller coaster, and now it's going up, and you're like, you know what? On second thought, no thank you, but it's too late. You're strapped in, we're on our way, have fun. That's what it felt like at the beginning of the movie to me. I was like, I don't want to endure what this movie's gonna put me through. But here we go. And yeah, there were a couple of parts, especially that beginning part. I was looking away the whole time. I'm not, not a fan, not a fan of stuff like that. Sorry. So... But but after that beginning part, it, you know, part of the enjoyment of the movie was especially like like on the bus and stuff because I didn't know it was like playing Chloe uh, 
uh, uh, it was like a Chloe scavenger hunt. Like, oh, is that Chloe? Where's Chloe? Is, is she coming here? Is she gonna be in this? Oh, is it, is it gonna be every time they brought up a lady or some character within the- Is it Chloe? Huh? Is Chloe Timothy's mother? Huh? Okay, and then we finally got the Chloe, and there was the one shot of Chloe in the trailer when it's like close up face, like, Bruh! and so you don't know. I assumed that Chloe in this film was going to be one of their victims and in it for five minutes. And then I found out from that interview, okay, so she has no line, she's got the letter, so it's probably her mom. Still could be a victim, still was barely in the movie. But then we find her in the mental hospital, and... Okay. So, I could talk on and on and on about the amazing thing this movie did. This movie's fantastic. The acting, Timothy, is, is fantastic. Uh, Mark Rylance steals the whole movie. I will not deny that. Mark Rylance steals this movie. He's amazing. The directing is fantastic. The cinematography, the, 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 the script, oh, great script. The music, the music, outstanding, outstanding. Uh, and the editing, immaculate, immaculate, wonderful, wonderful film. As I said in my, in my, in my, in my other review in two, spoiler free. Yeah, watch that, it's quick and easy and painless. For this apparently I'm focusing on Chloe. Um, so we get to Chloe in the mental hospital. And no, nothing has, again, I've gone through her filmography. I've, I've, she's got about 80 projects if you include short films and documentaries. I've got like 20 left. And I've seen most of her TV series in their entirety, including things like Hit and Run. Hit and Miss. Dang it, I do that every time. It's called Hit and Miss. It's actually pretty darn good. I only have one episode left. Uh, I, I own Brown Bunny. Yeah, that's right. You got a problem? Look what I'm wearing. Yeah, why? Because Chloe's on it. You put Chloe on anything, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to buy those $200 Chloe 70 sunglasses. I'm going to. You wait till tax returns. Anyway. Neither here nor there. I got a compliment on my Chloe jacket at the supermarket literally an hour ago. Blew my mind. I wore that thing to Brickfest. Part of like, is that a ki is that a kid's jacket? Yeah. His wife was like, what? He's like, nothing. Anyway, um, so I've seen Chloe in a lot of things, and I've never, ever, ever, ever seen her look bad. She could wear a burlap sack and look like the most gorgeous woman who ever walked the earth. She. You can, I've seen American Horror Story, spoiler alert, only two seasons. Can you get which two seasons they were? Yeah, the two that Chloe was in. Okay, three, because I saw the one with Billy, too, which is four. I've seen four seasons. Two for Billy, two for Chloe. But still, I only seen that show because of Chloe. And in Asylum, they tried to make her all horrifying by taking her limbs and making her... She was still, eh, she still, she had the haircut. I actually have a piece of her costume with her autograph on one of the cards. True story. You don't believe me? True story. But point being that, that even when they try to make her ugly or horrifying or creepy or scary, sorry, nice try. Chloe always is Chloe. Even with that terrible haircut in American Psycho. I digress. Again. Point being? I've just been rambling on for eight and a half minutes. Thanks for joining me if you're still here. I hope it's been slightly amusing. Probably more insightful to my insanity. Uh, Chloe's in this mental hospital. She has no arms because she's a freaking cannibal and she can't freaking eat anybody because she's in a freaking mental hospital and she, she freaking ate her freaking arms off. This movie did the unthinkable. I literally did not think this would ever happen. And made Chloe Sevigny. Horrifying, gross, disgusting, scary. I'll say almost ugly. Not quite. It's not possible. But almost. Her acting was outstanding, of course, too. That, that didn't hurt. And I'm like, uh, 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 here I am at this movie. I came to see Chloe. And here you go. First time ever, I've been like, oh my god, get away from me. Like, like the, the only scenario ever in my life where I would tell Chloe to get away from me. Even the American Horror Story, she was a fan of, and I'd be like, whatever. <laughs> but this crazy lady in the mental hospital, and then and then she goes to attack the girl, ah, and tries to eat her, and, uh, and that's the split second from the trailer. 
Glad I didn't piece it all together, but I pieced most of it together, but I still wasn't prepared for the horrifying monster that was going to come at me in the mental hospital room. That scared me. That scared me because it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen being the most horrifying thing coming at me. So, like, up there with, like, like, E.T., like, ew, oh my gosh, get away from me, like some, some fire in the sky stuff. I don't want to see that. I don't want that coming at me. <sighs> Great movie, though. I'm glad to check it off the box on another, you know, more, more of my Chloe Sevigny filmography. But like I said, everything about this movie is fantastic. Uh, it was crazy the way they, they, they fed on freshly dead corpses. Like, like a lion eating a gazelle. Um... Gotta make sure it's still warm, though, they don't taste as good cold. I want to see, like, a sequel and interact with some of these characters again, like that hillbilly that got away. Obviously not Mark Rylance. I knew he was going to be a problem when she denied him. Like, careful how you turn down crazy people. I really didn't... I, I really... I mean, I figured he was going to come back and attack them and Timothy was going to have to save the day. I really didn't see Timothy going out. I really didn't see Timothy going out. I wonder how all these fans of his, especially the ladies, I guess, are going to react to to the ending of the film being... Spoiler alert! Timothy Chalamet dying and being eaten alive, literally, by his girlfriend... Bones and all. I did like the tie-in of what the title meant, even though it was just reference. I, I figured that was going to be like, oh, is she, she going to do it with this guy? Are they going to do it together? I thought th I thought Timothy and her were going to eat Mark Rylance, Bones and all, together, and then have that metaphorical, metaphysical experience together. And that was going to be the ending, which I don't know if I would have liked that better, but I would have liked that ending. I don't know if I disliked the ending that we got. It's just, I'm not a big fan of love stories, or, I mean, I guess it's not really happy. It's kind of like Romeo and Juliet. It is really like Natural Born Killers meets Doctor Sleep meets, I say True Adventures of Wolf Boy because that's about a kid trying to find their mom in another state, meet a lot of crazy characters along the way, and then when they do, it turns out it's Chloe, and she's crazy. Yeah, very similar. Um, but she eats, because they kill Mark Rylance, and she eats Timothy because he's, he's wounded and they can't go to the hospital because they're cannibal fugitives. I'll let you say this movie's about cannibals, and people might think, like, a group or cult of cannibals, but no, it's about, like, you individually have this craving, and there's other out there who can't help it, and you have to feed on human flesh in order to keep it at bay. It's... This movie's very layered and full of all kinds of philosophical stuff we could discuss. But I wonder how people are going to react to the Timothy dying by being eaten, bones and all. Anywho, I mean, I've rambled on long enough. All I did was ramble about Chloe in a video that's probably labeled Bones and All, spoiler review. But, spoiler alert, that's why I saw the movie was for Chloe, so if I ever review a movie Chloe's in, it's going to be based on the merits of Chloe's appearance. Not really. Kind of. Not for the most part, though. I can watch a movie on its own. But sometimes... Anyway. I love Chloe. Happy 48th birthday, Chloe. That was last Friday. Okie dokie.